You know, according to uh, the United States, uh, I think it's uh, the United States Drug Administration, a drunk, considered someone who has a, uh, an alcoholic problem, is anyone who consumes five beers a week. Oh. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, everybody's drunk. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, one more time. Yeah. According to FDA. According to the United States Department of... Uh, of, uh, what administration? Of drugs. Basically, yeah. It's, I think it's the Drug Institute of uh, America or something. No, Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Yeah. No, it's the U.S. Institute for Drugs. It's, that, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's a government paid program that basically... Yes. And it says... Yeah, basically it says that about five drinks a week, you have an alcoholic problem. And I told them, I'm like, you don't realize you're an alcoholic until you graduate. Because then, guess what? It's your own will. Because there's no pressure to do it anymore. <laughs> you're, not on, you're not on the college. Well, track. they can do that with the drugs, too. Yeah. Because <laughs> I... Um, <laughs> I'm popping up this up to the fullest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll break the car. <laughs> That's a good, that's a good, I, I crossed the border. <laughs> no, 1983. I knew that number meant so. What'd you say? I kept seeing that number, 1983, when I was in high school. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm crossing the border to Colorado. <laughs> No, you were weird one time. We came from Miami, and we went to that uh, Colombian restaurant with that big white crispy tortilla, and we asked two plates of uh, recalentado, and I was thinking, well, this motherfucker's not gonna like it, so I'm gonna, you know, make room to eat more. And you ate the whole freaking thing. And I'm like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the, the cornbread with cheese, the Colombian thing. Oh, arepa. Yeah, oh my god, I got one in New York. Just like, oh, you did? Oh, no, that that land is, yes. If you went to Queens? <laughs> yeah, we went to uh, uh, Mom's sister's place. Oh, okay, you went to, okay. Queens, yeah. Yeah, you 73rd went to. 73rd Avenue, whatever. <laughs> That's good with chocolate, chocolate the, the, the type of chocolate that they have. I had literally every ethnic food. Indian, Japanese, Chinese. Oh, that's San Francisco. Oop, uh, <laughs> I every freaking Chino, Chilipino, Salvadorian to say, to, I mean, to choose from any pupusa you want. <laughs> Until I went to this weird thing. Uh, it's about uh, as uh, far I'm gonna go as international travel. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Eating ethnic food. <laughs> At least your stomach is prepared. Here, I think. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't, 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 don't. It was a nice car, let me tell you. Huh? I like the car, I like the. Oh, really? Try driving the car because the wheels are all. Way this way, this way, this way. This way. Stay this way. And then you take a right. Oh, yeah. Wow, we're that far. <laughs> oh, then you need... Oh, shoot. That's going to cost money. Yeah, but the funny thing is that the people at the uh, dealership, they were supposed to fix it. And they supposedly keep saying they're fixed. They fixed it. They fixed it, but it's never fixed. Oh, getting here. It's ridiculous. It's like, really? Like, dude, first I told mom, keep all the receipts and stuff. Yeah. yeah. If you're ever gonna pay for it. Yeah, and if anything happens, who there is. Like, because yeah. this car is pre owned and technically she's still making payments. And uh -huh. there's a uh, three year warranty. And like, she's no tell them about this problem over and over and over. And they keep saying, oh, it's the tires. Just they don't tires. have to get out. And like, whatever. So.
I just don't turn off the car. Just get out of the car. Put the blinkers. Get out of the car, Nimrod. What the hell did you do? <laughs> what was that sound? Exactly. Hey, right, boy. Hey. Right. You keep you and make a lot of money. Yeah. Just to give, like you said to me once. Money's to give. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just uh, pray for me about making that money. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Sandra's good at it too, so don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've been praying, I've been, uh, praying uh, to get a good job, but a good job that's going to lead me somewhere. That's like yeah, yeah, it's not like, you know. Yeah, not just a job. Like, somewhere yeah, it's, it's just like, like the, the movie, how do you call it? Uh, Christmas Carols, what the spirit says. is the... When he says the success in life is to care others, take care of others, others, give. And the guy's so stingy that I'm like, nah, right. it's the soup. <laughs> you are the man, yes, your imagination of my the soup spoiled. Okay, go. And if you can call tomorrow, that'll be nice. All right.